Look, I know this is... Would you just listen to what everyone has to say? Addison, I got sober young. And then I spent the bulk of my 20s in a library studying my ass off. College, med school, residency, neurofellowship. So now I wanted to have some fun. I made a mistake, and now I'm fine. I would think you'd get that. I do. I get that, but you are an addict, Amelia. You down a bottle of wine with every meal you drink when you're happy and when you're sad and when it's Tuesday. Should we do an intervention about your alcoholism? I don't have a problem. That's the difference here. I don't need to drink. I haven't had a drink in months. Yeah, because the only thing you're more addicted to than booze is having a baby, which is sad because, hell, you're freaking barren. You waited too long, and your junk dried up, and you've ruined any man who would want to even consider impregnating you. Poor Derek, poor Mark. You aborted his kid, right? And now you've got Sam, and at least he's smart enough to not want to try and breed with you, because, let's be honest, not even Rosemary's baby would want to live amongst the tumbleweeds in your uterus. Dude, seriously? I barely know you. What are you even doing here? You're right. You don't know me. I'm here because we all agreed we would be here. And I'm here because you don't get how lonely most people are. See, most people, they just go to work. They go to work, they come home, maybe they have friends. But on any given day, they're not sharing as much or caring as much or giving as much as all of you give to each other on, a, on an average Wednesday. So, yes, you're right. I don't know you. But I know that you have a family here, and I see that you're destroying it. If you continue down this path, you won't just go down alone, Amelia. You'll take all the people that love you down with you. Morning. Can we talk to you for a minute? Who's we? Lenny. Does she have a brain tumor? A giant carcinoma that she wants me to excise. That had better be what is going on here. Because Amelia, everybody here cares about you. And they'd like you to stay and listen to what they have to say. Will you do that? An intervention? An intervention. Okay, you know what? I have patients to see. There are no patients coming today. Today is about you. Are you freaking kidding me? Amelia? Doctor. Dr. Shepard, and I know how an intervention works. You're not the one who talks. You are just the party planner. One of you, one of you is supposed to have the guts to speak up instead of hiding behind this chick. One of you has to have the balls to say something to me. Do you? Any of you? Okay, great intervention. I have been intervened upon. I will see you tomorrow. I'm not letting Sheldon. you leave. I'm not letting you leave. Addison, she's upset. She has a right to be upset. Addison. She's being ambushed. I'm just saying that I'm not sure this is the right way to go. Do you want to do this? Then you can. You can do this. Amelia, get off the elevator. Screw both of you. If you don't get off the elevator, I will fire you. Then I quit. Amelia. Amelia, get off the elevator. I'll call the police. And tell them what? And tell them you've been writing prescriptions for your own personal drug use. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Actually, I do. Okay. Fine. I will stay at the practice. Amelia, I said I would stay at the practice. I did not say I would hang out with you. This isn't working. A united front. She just walked out. So go after her. You have to be in this. You can't just come along for the ride. There are times that you're going to have to steer the ship. We're using sailing metaphors now. I mean, can I just, what are the qualifications for this? Anyway, are you even, I mean, is there a certification for this? Are you qualified to do this? Addison. We all agreed. Fine, I'll go. That was a good catch. Dr. Shepard. Right. Thank you. Look, I appreciate you giving me the credit, but in the future, please don't. 
And I stand by the call that I made, given the information I had. You followed your instincts, which I respect, but you take your credit. I'll take mine, okay? I need a drink. I need three drinks. I know the feeling. Dr. Shepard, uh, I was hoping I could buy you three drinks. You know, to make up for the, the wholly inappropriate kindness I showed you earlier, won't happen again. I don't drink. Come on. Never? <laughs> you ever seen an anencephalic baby? What? I gave birth one, not that long ago. I held him for a few minutes, and then I donated his organs. They took him out of my arms, and they took him apart. And if I let myself drink, I would never stop. I mean, you, you're asking me out because you look at me and you think we're about the same age and we could have fun. And I might have made the same mistake if I were you. But we're not the same age. I'm about 100 years older than I look. Enjoy your drinks.